Hey there, it's Jason Stahl with another episode of Body Shop Business, the podcast. And today I have a very special guest in the studio, Megan Gummer, who is the Vice President of Marketing and Vendor Relations with Finish Master. Welcome, Megan. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Megan, I wanted to talk about COVID, and it's kind of in the rearview mirror. Uh, we've got a handle on it. Who knows? It might pop up again. But, you know, that was a significant pandemic that affected everyone in the world. And uh, I just wanted to know sort of, did, did the pandemic change Finish Master fundamentally, how you run a business, and was it for the better? Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that that was an unprecedented crisis. We were scrambling in the beginning. Um, but I think one of the great things is it pushed us to be really agile on many fronts. And so we went straight into kind of all hands on deck mode. Um, and when that happened, you know, all of our team members are coming together. They're supporting our procurement team. They're supporting our supply chain team. And most importantly, they're all proactively communicating with our customers to make sure that they stay well informed during the process as well. Um, so I think that was a, a big shift for us. The good thing is it, it nudged us to really give our team members and our customers those new tools and programs to support them through those efforts. I mean, things that we hadn't really had before, even Microsoft Teams, I mean, that was new for our team. And so we were kind of, you know, fumbling around learning how to use that. Um, but those tools, I mean, we're lucky at Finish Master because we have the resources to invest in that proven technology and automation. And so it's been a game changer for us ultimately. Um, one of the things that we've just recently invested in is new, very advanced routing software. Um, and the cool thing about that is it takes the capacity of our fleet, it couples that with the requirements that the customer gives us, and then it gives us truly optimal routes. And really at the end of the day, what that does for us is it gives that overall, you know, fantastic customer experience that everybody's used to from us and that, you know, they've, they've grown to love in working with Finish Master. Um, another thing that we've been investing in is our CRM tool for our sales force internally. And that's just, you know, we're doing v continuous advancements there that's really helping them stay nimble, stay focused on what matters, um, you know, because we're operating with fewer resources like everybody out there is. Um, so that, that's been helpful too. Um, and because we've got the team that can adapt to those changes quickly, I think it's given us a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I would still say fundamentally, we're the same finish master. I mean, our overall goal is to give the customers that exceptional service and to create value throughout our ever-growing network. So Megan, you mentioned routing and it makes me think of supply chain and deliveries and whatnot. You know, COVID was a pebble, right? And it went in the pond and it created ripples. And now that COVID's in the rearview mirror, we're still feeling that ripple effect of supply chain issues and uh, materials shortages and things like that. How is Finish Master ensuring that they have a wealth of product for the customer and that they're getting it to the customer on time? Yeah, Jason, I think we're seeing that all industries are facing that right now, right? I mean, whether we're going to the grocery store or trying to find Tylenol for our kids, um, it's definitely challenging out there. And, you know, at Finish Master, we're, we're still seeing those supply chain disruptions as well. Um, thankfully for us, you know, we have really good, strong manufacturing partnerships. And so we're able to support one another, but the challenges that are facing our manufacturers are very well known right now. And that's, you know, freight, labor, um, lack of production, raw materials, things like that. So it, it does in turn affect us, um, but we leverage those partnerships. Uh, we have a very strong procurement and supply chain team. And so what they're doing is they're getting on the phone daily 
weekly. They're on the phone with the manufacturer. They're collaborating. They're talking about those issues. They're working through them. They're moving product around our network at Finish Master. You know, we have a vast network of DCs and branches across the country. And so they all stay in lockstep with our procurement team. And that's really, you know, given us an advantage for sure. Um, but we're really focused on that inventory optimization as a team in general. And we have a product management team too that they can get really creative with like kind replacements and substitutions. And so they stay really nimble. Um, they, they are constantly helping out our customers as well. Mm -hmm. We also have developed many real-time dashboards. Our operations team's been very focused on that. Um, and those dashboards help us with our supply chain planning, our accuracy. They help us monitor KPIs that are important to us, that are important to our customers, and really stay on track there. And we use our key learnings from what we find from all of that data to make ourselves better and to make our partners better as well. And so we're, we're constantly pushing ourselves you know, this is definitely an evolving process right now, um, but we're lucky that we have all of these tools at our fingertips. But at the end of the day, we understand that the body shops need this product. They need, you know, their production to go seamlessly, and we don't take that lightly. And so it's something that we'll continue to focus on and, and you know, continue to be a part of the solution. Megan, I know that Finish Master prides itself on being more than just a distributor of paint and materials. You want to be a business partner to collision repairs and help them solve their problems. And let's face it, collision repairs are facing a lot of challenges right now. The increasing cost of everything, inflation, tech shortage, uh, increasing tech pay, uh, you name it. Um, how is Finish Master right now helping collision repairs face and tackle those challenges? Yeah, there's a definite value in being a partner to the body shop right now. And that's what we want. And we know that's what they need. Um, you know, we feel for the body shop owners. There's so many tough decisions that they're faced with right now when it comes to product and labor and part shortages. So we really want to jump in and be a partner for them. And typically where we jump in first is helping them manage their inventory. And we'll get hands on through that process. So we'll sit down, we'll do a needs assessment. We'll really look at, okay, this is the service model that we think will you know, meet all of your expectations and most importantly, cause as little disruption for the shop as possible because they're already dealing with enough of that. And that's down to, you know, if they're how many days a week that they need deliveries and things like that. So that's really kind of that plan that we'll start off with, um, trying to minimize that disruption. And then we'll look at, you know, what KPIs are important to them and we'll play a really active role and helping them track those KPIs and manage those as well. So when we're partnering with a shop, we understand you know, they need online ordering platforms. Um, we have a great one called Shop Finish Master where they can go on and place their orders. Um, that helps increase their productivity reduce their costs. So that's a great solution that we provide. And, you know, we're continuing to make advancements there as well. Um, we also are very proud because we have an exclusive line of associated products known as Smart. And our Smart brand is fantastic because it really offers quality performance at an affordable price. And these are pro products, you know, there's a big range of them um, from seam filler and body filler to tape to safety items and paint suits. So there's a real breadth in that product line. And really, you can complete 95% of the refinish process with our smart product. So in a nutshell, the smart product line, um, it really offers those performance products and you're not jeopardizing any quality there. Um, it's very affordable. And we're very proud of that product line. Um, we have a smart brand manager, Mike Cohen. He really puts a lot of heart and soul into the product testing with our technicians that we have several technicians out in the field as well to support our customers. Um, so it's something that's near and dear to our heart. And we know that it saves our customers time and it saves them money. Mm -hmm. 
Megan, let's talk about consolidation, one of the biggest trends going on in the collision repair industry. It's been going like crazy for the last two years, and it's predicted to continue over the next 24 months. Tell me, you know, the bigger getting bigger, the national chains are getting larger, these networks are growing. Is it making it harder or e uh, easier to do business with them? And how do you make sure that the independent doesn't get lost in the shuffle? That's a good question, Jason. Um, there's no secret that consolidation is happening at a rapid pace right now in the industry. I've traveled a lot this year. I've been to many conventions and conferences, and that is the hot topic. Um, and it really has required us to be nimble and adjust our business model. And one of the great things for Finish Master is that with our scale and our value offering, we really can service each segment uniquely. And we have a dedicated team just for those large growing MSOs and those national players. And they've really got a proven track record in servicing that segment in best in class operational efficiency. The thing for us is we've been there all along. We've watched them grow. We've been a part of that. Um, and, and at the same time, we still have teams that are dedicated to those other segments and taking care of their needs as well. So as everything evolves, we're able to evolve with it. Um, and we're, we're really proud of our national account team, you know, with the experience in that space, um, coupled with our dedication to invest in our footprint, in our programs, we're confident that we'll continue to be a leader with those national MSOs. You know, you mentioned in your travels, you hear a lot about consolidation. I'm guessing you hear a lot about the tech shortage too. Yes. Another strong pain point with collision repairs. Maybe you can talk to me a little bit about how Finish Master is helping collision repairs with the tech shortage and maybe talk about Hood Master Challenge as a way to spotlight the talent out there. Yes, that'd be fantastic. Um, we know that there are more techs exiting the workforce right now than there are entering the workforce. And that's scary for us too. We want to be a part of that solution and we want to, you know, kind of join arms with our manufacturing partners, with other industry organizations like Body Shop Business um, to safeguard that talent in the future for our industry. And so what we created is the Hood Master Challenge. And that's where automotive painting professionals, they come together, they paint these mini hoods. Um, we're able to feature those through a competition in an annual event that we do. And we raise money for the Collision Repair Education Foundation that's supporting those tech students and schools and instructors. And we're really, proud of the work that we're doing with them. We also do a pin master competition too, and that's the student competition where the students are refinishing bowling pins and they have an opportunity to win prizes and equipment. Um, it's just a fun thing to be a part of and it's all for a good cause. Um, it's work that's near and dear to our heart, certainly. And it's also creating a community of all these painters and professionals that are coming together, they're supporting one another, they're following each other on social media, they're learning from each other, and really only good things can come out of that. Mm -hmm. So we really are putting a lot of work into that. It's something we'll continue to do. We also get very involved with our local Votech schools too, whether that's you know out of where we're headquartered in Indianapolis or just throughout the U.S. with some of our local teams. Um, but they'll host training sessions. They'll donate free product um, just to continue advancing their careers as well. Um, and then we've also been a supporter of Skills USA. Um, that's a great competition too. So those are the things I would say to people to help get involved, to really give back to the industry right now is that's definitely front and center and we all need to be a part of the solution and Finish Master's dedicated to that. Megan, how is Finish Master today preparing itself to meet the challenges of the future? Yeah, Jason, when I think about our conversation here today, one of the things that's really clear to me is that our collision repair facilities are do, having to do more with less. 
and we need to support them through that. And at Finish Master, we're going to stay dedicated to bringing them the team, the tools, the programs that they need to be supported through that transition. So that's really what we're focused on for our customers is that value added offering that's going you know, to help them evolve over time um, in a positive light. And when I think about the industry in total, it really goes back to that talent recruitment and how do we attract more people into this industry. And I know one of the things that our team's doing, um, we have a sales training development program where we've brought in some new hires this year. We've put them through kind of an industry crash course. We're going to continue to do that. We're going to have another round of new hires as well. Um, we're also hitting job fairs. We're really investing in our training platform. So I think that's something that, you know, all of our partners can be doing as well. Um, and that we're, we're proud to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Well, Megan, I thank you so much for being in the studio today. I really appreciate your candor and your input. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's been great being here. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Body Shop Business, the podcast. Check out BodyShopBusiness.com for more podcasts.